Standing up for yourself can be difficult. Whether in the context of business or social interactions, a person needs to be sure that they are speaking up on their own behalf. You've got to have your voice, thoughts and emotions understood by those around you. This video is brought to you by Answerly, a question platform that pays you for adding high quality answers on different questions. The users are rewarded in Answerly tokens which they can easily convert into dollars or any other cryptocurrency by using one of the exchanges mentioned in the description. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about how you can stand up for yourself. If you're new here, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get updates whenever we post. On any given day, you might find yourself in a situation or two where it's necessary to know how to stand up for yourself. From someone cutting in front of you in line at the coffee shop to a co-worker snagging your idea in a meeting, there really are endless opportunities to speak up. And yet, it can be so easy to let these moments slide. Of course, it's always okay to brush off small slights and move on. But it may be necessary to be more assertive too in order to get what you want, speak your mind, effectively share ideas, and so on. The trouble is, learning how to stand up for yourself can be tricky. Not only can it be uncomfortable from a social standpoint, but certain scenarios can also dredge up old insecurities. Here are some tips for you to stand up for yourself in any situation. What does it look like to you? Before you embark on a journey to enhance your ability to say no or perhaps yes in some cases, it's important to understand what self-assertion does and doesn't mean to you. Why do you feel you're not being assertive enough? Are there certain contexts in which you find yourself unable to get your point across? In what ways do you wish you were more assertive? Are there people you know who exhibit a self-assertive nature that you admire? These are all questions to ask as you begin to find ways to stand up for yourself. By turning inward and reflecting on what you're missing out on, you can engage the best strategies for your personal situation. Practice makes perfect. If you're just starting on your path toward being assertive, you've got to remember that it takes time to warm up. As with any skill in life, practice will build strength in your ability to stand up for yourself. Try flexing your assertive nature in small ways, and then build up to encounters that may take more effort. Just like working out at the gym, you can strengthen your assertive nature through repeated use. Set boundaries for yourself. You've got to know what your deal breakers are. You simply cannot negotiate or assert yourself without understanding your limits. This could look like setting aside one night per week that's all yours. No meetings, no parties, no exceptions. Maybe it means not checking your email after 8 p.m. Whatever it is, think of it as a guide to confident decision making. Pick your place and time. It's important to set yourself up for success by picking the right time and place for an encounter. Take careful consideration of where and when interactions occur. Arrange for an encounter to occur when you're comfortable and where. If you're not a morning person, try to make contact later in the day. If there is a place you feel more at home, attempt to engage the issue at that location. You don't have to catch every ball. You juggle a busy life. You probably want to be helpful to those around you since you may need their help in return. Remember that you don't have to take care of every problem every time. When someone comes to you for help or attempts to involve you in the project, it doesn't mean that you are obliged to help. You're allowed to let some opportunities pass you by. Make it physical. This doesn't mean getting into physical altercations with other people. It means that you need to be aware of your body language, which can be just as powerful as a verbal communication. Are your shoulders stooped? Are you standing face to face with a person or turned at an angle? How's your eye contact? The physical elements of a conversation are critical to consider when you're standing up for yourself. This is not a dress rehearsal. The strategy of practice makes perfect was already covered, but the idea of rehearsal bears mentioning as a separate tip. In addition to working out your assertive nature through practice, be sure to set yourself up for success by rehearsing a big moment before it occurs. This doesn't mean you should be obsessive, but it does mean that you should think about how you'd like an encounter to unfold. Sometimes you may just want to run through the encounter in your mind, while other times you may even practice saying your lines out loud in private. Make it verbal. Just as you need to use physicality in your self-assertion, you must also carefully wield your verbal response. Your voices and your words are your most powerful tools for standing up against other people. You can extend the strategy of rehearsal into a careful planning of your words, followed by awareness during the encounter and reflection afterward. Whether it's talking to your kids about divorce or letting go of an employee, are you using positive language or language that's negative? Are you using passive speech patterns or taking a more active syntax? How is your delivery and tone of voice? Remember 
It's what you say and how you say it. Train people to treat you right. You interact with people every day. One way to stand up for yourself is to let people know how you want to be treated. This doesn't mean explicitly telling them. It means being aware of how your actions, words, and outward decisions appear to others. How does your behavior prime people to approach you later? If you allow yourselves to be taken advantage of one time, it may be a clue to other individuals that you can be used and abused in the future. Begin this strategy by being aware of your behaviors during interactions and reflecting on them later. You don't have to apologize. In moments when you stand up for ourselves, you often feel the need to make excuses or say apologies to the other party. Make sure your assertive matter more powerful by remembering that you can say no or yes to people without offering a reason or excuse. Sometimes all someone needs is a simple answer. If you feel like someone is leaving you time to explain why you will or won't help them with a request, simply give a few moments of silence. The odds are they will either end the conversation as simple as that, or even better, turn the conversation in a less confrontational direction. See the other side. You often look inward to yourself when attempting to stand up against someone else. One powerful way to show your self-confidence is to be aware of the other person as well. Consider their perspective, motives, needs, and desires. Why are they in the situation they're in? And how does that affect and color your encounters with them? These are two sides to every story. Make sure you think of them both. Give yourself a mantra. Similarly, choose a mantra to help you push through uncomfortable situations. Mantras or slogans or meditations you can tell yourself over and over throughout the day. They keep you on track when your focus shifts and they remind you what's important. If you're afraid to speak up in a conversation, repeating your mantra to yourself should bolster your courage to say what you'd like to say. Be honest. Honest people generally have an easier time standing up for themselves because they don't waste precious energies protecting elaborate facades. This counts in relationships, that counts at work, even in random encounters with strangers at the grocery checkout. If you're honest in your beliefs and approach to the world, standing up for yourself is simply a matter of stating X, Y and leaving others to do with it what they will. You won't feel a need to sway to make yourself feel larger, to out-talk someone in order to denigrate them, not even to assert yourself so that others can't take advantage of you. As with the silent person, you'll find that under honesty's umbrella, you don't come up against a lot of instances where people decide to use their whims as a means to knock you down. Your desires and needs are just as important as everyone else's. They might not have been recognized as such when you were younger, but you have the power to make sure that they're now. And as you begin to fight your own corner, you'll find that things begin to shift in your favor. So the question is, when are you going to stand up for yourself? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. To learn more about Anterly and Anterly tokens, check out the links in the description.